Aquarius, 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 what's popping? What's going on in the life of an Aquarian from now until the end of July? <laughs> Are you guys in this space of reflecting, of dealing with past life shit, of dealing with past people's shit, and everyone else who wants to come in for their shit? In the midst of this peace that you're trying to find with himself. <laughs> hey, boo head, this first time to my channel. I'm Mocha. Also, this first time to my channel, look out, I cuss. I may cuss a little, I may cuss a lot. Just depend on what the hell these cards say. Oh, but I'm a cuss. So if cussing don't work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can further assist you uh, without cussing, because I'm going to do that, okay? Um, you guys, it, to the new subscribers, welcome to the family, y'all. We're a little dysfunctional. We don't fight and fuss. We leave that shit definitely on other people's channel. We don't do that shit over here, okay? We lay back. We laugh. We cuss. We share. We grow. We evolve. Positive vibes only, okay? Returning family. What's popping, gang, gang? What's up, baby? How this damn lunar eclipse and Capricorn treat? Hope that. Let me tell you something. That's going to be treating your money real good if you choose to sacrifice the bullshit, the toxic people, they fuck your problems, they fucks, the fucks that you ain't supposed to be carrying, the fucks that you carrying that ain't your job, it's God's job, the fucks, you gotta sacrifice the fucks, Aquarius, okay, therefore, in advance, I would like to thank you for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments, the readings, the love, the support, I truly appreciate it from the humblest space ever, speaking of uh, readings, if you need a personal reading, please feel free to always uh, refer back to the community tab, as well as find that information below within the description, it's not gonna resonate with everybody. Take what does, leave the rest. Don't try to make that motherfucking shoe fit if it's too big. Your ass gonna fall, okay? If it ain't your size, don't try to walk in the fucking shoes. If it's too little, it's gonna cause blisters. If it's too big, your ass might trip and fall, all right? And, it, it, and don't fall in the damn lines, then. Because apparently, Aquarius and Leo, y'all having, having some clashes right now, okay? For some reason, when I kept meditating on your damn energy, y'all, that damn line wanted to keep showing its face and that damn scorpion. So some of y'all may be bumping heads. Okay? Let's get it. Um, This is for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as the cross watchers for the sign of Aquarius. We're going to jump right into your intuitive messages. Let's get it. All right? <clears throat> From now to the end of July for Aquarius, I got narcissists. Realizations, divine timing, life path, attraction, resistance, signs and synchronicities, family, manipulation, sudden wealth, self-sabotage, cycles, apology, reunions, breaking cycles, past life, ancestors, life path, acceptance, patience, Participation, dreams, it all comes rolling out. Revelations, lame. All right. So, if any of the intuitive messages did apply to you, this is your message. Let's talk about it. Overall energy around the reading, six of cups. Okay, so some of you guys, this could have to do with someone from your past. Okay, wanting to equal give or take. This could also have to do with someone who you have a past life connection with. So there may be a bit of intensity. Some of you guys also, maybe I'm hearing dreams and synchronicity. So some of you all, they're showing me, <coughs> excuse me, y'all. You want to know where the hell Mocha has been, <coughs> whether you cross watching or not. I've been trying not to um, overdo it when it comes to my allergies. One second. Some of you all, this has to do with releasing toxic cycles and things that you've tried to have control over in relationships, in business partnerships, in collaborations with other people, whether it's relationships, situationships, work relationships, etc. Um, releasing the control and surrendering to a particular outcome. Because for some of you all, you are stressing your damn self out, overthinking around a relationship or if someone else is making the proper decisions in order for you guys to move forward or there's this need to try to control it and spirit is saying that is the that's the stressful part around why things are not why things may seem stagnant for some of you all the outcome and the visual that you have is destined for you however it's not you wanting that vision with okay but spirit is saying i'm trying to give you the bestest but you got to let that bullshit go okay whether it's bullshit friendships whether it's bullshit people, bullshit family members, and their bullshit opinions that don't pay any of your bills. 
And it doesn't affect you unless you allow it in your world and get that get that much power over your spirit to affect you. They talk about Christ. I'm not religious, but I'm very spiritual. So my beliefs is very, very, very expanded. But I will say they talk about Christ, but my boy's still a legend to this day. Whether they was talking negatively or bad. I mean, negatively or good. We still heard about it. We still learned about it, right? It was a bunch of motherfuckers with shit to say. Hell, his, his, his haters killed his ass. But guess what? They didn't stop the legend. You a legend, baby. And your story, for some of you all, is tied to ancient history. Some of you all have a very important task here in this life. And it has to do around your consumption, your, your conception of children. For some of you all, if it's not working, do not take the negative aspect of say it will never work. Maybe it's not fated for who you're trying to make it work with. Have you ever thought about that? There's divine intervention all in the South Aquarius. Okay? So the message, the angel message that you guys got was Yellow Jasper. Control issues. <laughs> um, I said angel message, you guys. This was actually the door ring. I keep got to quit saying that shit. Mercury got me all twisted and uh, sideways. Um, this comes from the Doreen Virtue. Crystal Oracle decks, what it is, okay? It says, utilize your God-given strength and power instead of fearing that others may try to control you, okay? Some of y'all, that may be the resistance. You guys are needing to make a decision possibly regarding someone um, from your past or someone who you have a soul contract with from a past life. And you are thinking about all the negative things that could occur. And for some of you all, there is blessings in um, the unknown, okay? I just heard that from my guys. This card can be a sign that you're experiencing a power struggle with someone or feeling not in control of your life. Power struggles can be like a tug of war with both sides pulling on the energy in an attempt to win. This can be frustrating and draining. So this card is reminding you to find a healthier path. Remember that you were made in God's image and likeness and therefore you are naturally filled with the strength of God. Many a tug of war Many a tug of war is ended when one person drops the rope, which metaphorically means that you stop seeing the other person as powerful or controlling. Don't give away your power to others and surrender any control issues to God, who can peacefully heal and balance this situation. Focus upon your own energy and actions instead of fearfully monitoring others, okay? So some of you all, there's a sense of some of y'all feel like something is coming, and because you feel that something is something is coming for some of you all, there is a positive, a positive outcome to uh, what was once considered a negative situation. Okay, it's just how you choose to perceive it. Once you perceive it with an aspect of healing, can you see, um, can you see things from a different space and a different vibration? Okay, okay, some of you all, there's a focus. Oh, and I ain't show y'all the yellow jasper. Okay, this is the crystal. So some of you guys who have um, access to crystals, okay. Yellow Jasper um, may be very essential to you all. Some of you all um, in this time, some of y'all, there's a need for you all. You could be connecting with water signs. Or there's a need for you all to connect with water. Uh, be very alone. Be very patient with yourself during this time. Release any sense of judgment, self-blame, self-sabotage. Don't, before you see the negative aspect of things, some of you all are being forced in this space of solitude. Some of you guys may be trying, you, you're undergoing a transformation, but you're undergoing a transformation possibly dealing with the mirror aspect of yourself, whether it's through your children or whether it's through your current spouse, okay? Some of you all, this person may be mirroring the shadow aspects of yourself, and instead of seeing seeing or pointing the fingers, okay, at this person, how can we transmute that energy by actually transmitting the energy internally within our space, how we see things, how we view things, how we expect for outcomes to occur. That this is the aspect of acceptance, acknowledgement, acceptance, and surrendering. Okay. For some of you all, there's um a need for you all, there's gonna be some type of opening or some type of receptivity um when it comes to the heart chakra for some of you all. So some of y'all may also be um, needing to connect or some of you guys may also be attracted to some type of rose cord pendants during this time. There's also a need to protect your energy from people in, in within your external and holding all of their problems because the dark side to Aquarius is, is that you guys hold the weight of the world and you want to fix everything, but spirit is, has not designed, has not designed um, us to do that. Some people, you guys are attracted to people who possibly could be running from their own karma. 
And for some of you all, you needed to set boundaries on the on the dynamics of your relationship settings with people. Okay? And how, how the flow of things. Let's get into it. Spirit, what messages do you have from now until the 31st of July for my beautiful Aquarius, Sun and Rider Venus, as well as the Cross Watchers? In love. Whoa, 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 whoa. Too many. But baby, they came pouring out. Aquarius, let me find out that y'all really, y'all think, some of y'all have some very fast moving communication coming in that you don't see coming, okay? For some of you all, some of you all, there could be a decision around reconciling with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This could be someone who you definitely have children with, okay? For some of you all, some of you all, you could you could be experiencing a tile moment. And this could have to do with your dream space. Some of you all, you may be being connecting with your ancestors or someone who has crossed over to the other side. For some of you all, I'm feeling um, a, a strong mother figure, okay? <coughs> Others of you, there could be some, someone is getting ready to bring a shake up into your life. I definitely feel like someone has had a tower moment. This could be this fire sign, every feel sad. Some of you all, there's an offer to reconcile possibly with the Scorpio. I definitely feel like someone wants to come in and open up. And I feel like this could have been an issue in the past. Some of you all manifested this, but you, you didn't see the change come in until you stopped giving a fuck, okay? Some of you all have some type of new perspective around. Some of y'all want to go into the path of some type of counseling, whether it's family counseling. Um, you, you're noticing through, through pretty much through the synchronicities and some of the things that the deep wounds that you've had to heal from, childhood wounds, it's inspired you to actually understand your path as a healer and your place in the light worker community. For some of you all, it has to have to do with public speaking. Others of you, it has to do with educating people on holistics. And others of you, it has to do with um, some type of like, some of y'all had some type of reality check when it came to money, okay? Someone could have been, yeah. Hmm. For others of you, someone is going through an awakening. They've been receiving signs and uh, synchronicities from the universe um, through, and it has to do with some type of past life. So someone has put together that you and them had some type of past life connection that could not get off the ground in the past due to someone needing to have an ego death, okay? Or someone needed to have a different perception. Someone could have reconciled with someone from their past <coughs> or tried to reconcile with this person, tried to compromise or is trying to compromise um, to, for, a coming, for a coming goal of manifesting something here or manifesting something stable here in um, the 3D. For some of you all, this has to do some of y'all finna get somebody a reality check. They thinking they finna come back to reconcile. This has this is a fire sign. Aries Leo Sash is definitely a child's mother or a child's father. This person in the past could have came, you could have allowed them to come in and out, in and out, in and out of your life. Um, they could have gave given you false hopes of reconciliation in the past, but now this person is serious. And some of y'all have something new forming here, possibly with a Scorpio or with an Earth sign, Capricorn towards Virgo. And I definitely feel like you needed to make a decision on which way to go. Um, with this, because you know that you're getting ready to have to, you're getting ready to have to um, cut someone off. For some of y'all, you could be cutting off an earth sign to reconcile your family situation with someone. Some of you guys are going to, you, you're needing to trust your intuition and trust the signs and synchronicities that you guys are receiving. Okay, some of you guys could, yeah, some of y'all could have been dealing with a fire sign that was juggling yourself and possibly another air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. If you're dealing with an air sign, there's a need for you guys to uh, speak boundaries with this person or set boundaries with this person because some of you guys, yeah, some of y'all could have someone that's reaching out to you. This could be um, an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Your person could have kids with this person. This person, either your person went to reconcile with this person during the midst of a split, possibly in the month of April or May. Some of y'all, your person was juggling some type of relationship with you in this air sign. And I definitely feel like somebody's karma is somebody could have gotten pregnant during a reconciliation with someone that was short lived. And I feel like this person has now come to the realization that you exist, Aquarius. So some of y'all have a, a Gemini Libra Aquarius stalking y'all. This could be someone's child's mother. This is definitely, and some of you guys, this could be the child, uh, your, your, this could be someone's child's father, okay? Yeah. Some of you guys could also, yeah, some of you guys could have been dealing with someone that you work with, a Capricorn towards Virgo or a younger air sign. I feel like, I feel like you could have cut communication with this person. This person is going to be communicating, communicating with you during this time. This person has missed you, Aquarius. 
some of y'all are definitely, yeah, some of y'all have, to, some of y'all are dealing with the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel like there's a reconciliation trying to happen and it looks to be very flourishing. However, someone is needing to cut off a relationship that they're juggling you and another person, okay? Some of you guys could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, that's juggling, making a decision between you and the mother of your child who could be possibly a Libra, Pisces, Virgo, uh, Taurus, Aries. Some of you guys, <laughs> yeah, some of y'all finna give... Hold on. Hello. Some okay. Karma's a bitch. Some some y'all could have been dealing with a fire sign in the past. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person, you could have cut them off and stood your ground with this person because you have a family with them and they feel as if they can come in and out of your damn life. This person could have moved on from you, cut you off with the with the expectations of dealing with another fire sign who they saw victory with. They actually put in the effort to keep this person, and this person just gave their ass a reality check either around money, okay. Someone could also be taking a hit due to their spouse's connection or an outside child from the past that someone could have recently gotten clarity about. Okay. Ooh, where is this getting juicy? Someone, some of y'all could be connecting with a fire sign who could have found out that they're dealing with an air sign who actually is dealing with someone who they work with. And I feel like this person, yeah, this person is afraid to take a leap forward. And this could have been an issue. Yeah, this was an issue in the past life. Some of y'all are connecting with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, who is connecting and trying to line up a situation before disconnecting, uh, before disconnecting from you. Okay. Some of you guys have something beautiful, a new relationship uh, that could have happened or could have actually got off the ground in the month of March or April. This person loves you with everything, but I feel like this person has outside disturbances from their mama figure. Somebody needs to stand their ground with a mother figure or their partner's mother during this time because this person don't know how to mind their own goddamn business. Let me tell y'all something about mother-in-laws. Tell that bitch mind her business. I'm trying to be professional, you guys. I'm working on it. I am working on it. For those of you who are dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and who have been not knowing which way to go, okay, I definitely feel like if you've been trying to manifest this person, this person is going to take the leap of faith towards you. Um, there's some type of divine intervention with someone who had a third party with the third party being removed with some type of revelation around um, some type of deception that took place in the past or during a breakup, okay? Some of you guys... <laughs> Some of y'all are cutting off um, a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, or a water sign, okay, who was juggling. I feel like this person feels as if they got this shit in the bag, too. And some of you guys could have already been saving your money. Some of you guys could have, some of y'all could have had a dream about it or will be dreaming about some type of, um, someone thinking they sneak to go reconnect with their past, okay? But there's karma around it. Some of y'all, I have, the, some of y'all are sitting on the edge of your seats, like you know that something's coming. However, there's a need for you not to try to control how fast it comes to you because it's the fuck surrounded. As soon as you stop giving a fuck and surrender and allow spirit to and, and just trust yourself, trust what it is that you saw, understand that it wouldn't have been revealed to you a spirit if it wasn't fated for you to know. So you don't have to uh, keep watching readings and keep uh, getting readings from people. You don't have to do this because for some of you all, this has to do with someone who couldn't make a decision. The universe is making a decision for them where they couldn't make a decision. Now their partner or their spouse is making a decision. And now this person is ready to come back to you. But you got new love for some of y'all. This is a new opportunity. Some of you guys are getting ready to travel. OK, or could receive some type of an offer to travel. And you're yeah, there, there, there's this sense of being perceived as disloyal. Because some of y'all is getting ready to just dip and not tell your job nothing. But there's this fear around taking that leap because you're looking at what could go wrong. Spirit is saying, no, that's not the way to look at it. What can go right? But you will never know if your ass don't never go. And there's something. Some of y'all, <clears throat> the love that you've been trying to manifest comes in the form of new love. And it comes with a move, okay? With the move of you actually moving towards your life purpose, your path. And it's going to require for you to release somebody who not already showed you who the fuck they was. Why can't you believe them, Aquarius? Some of you all, yeah, some of you all, there will be some type of truth and clarity had around a situation where a person was coming to try to, a person was coming in your life to try to mend things with you. I feel, I felt as if they had to choose between you and another person who could be a water sign, a fire sign, and another air sign. Hell, it could be any damn sign. I feel like they were working it out with someone where they did not see victory in the situation, but actually putting in the work made them really 
really, really dig deeper into their heart space to give them the realizations about what it is that they truly want. They love you, but I feel like they love control, the control aspect a little too much, or maybe this person haven't had some type of real, like realization around it. Someone is, yeah, someone who thought that they can come in and out of your damn life, Aquarius is going to get the fucking boot because spirit is blessing you with something else. You're going to be someone's tower moment, okay? For some of you all, the tower moment is um, someone thought that they could hide something from you. Some of y'all could have been dreaming about a child. The child that you're dreaming about could be um, connected to your partner or an ex-partner who did not want you to know that information, but because you had this space of solitude, yes. Some of y'all, this could have to do with the Sagittarius and a Libra. And I just heard court case. So some of y'all could actually have an open court case with the Sagittarius, okay? Some of y'all could be finding out about someone's child from the past that this person could have tried to hide. Others of you, there is balance trying to occur with in a relationship between you and a Sagittarius, okay? For others of you, others of you, you could be, some of y'all could actually be receiving proposals from a water sign. Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, congratulations. Your relationship is ascending to new heights. There's a need for you not to be afraid or not to perceive negative aspects of how your marriage could go based on the fucking dysfunctional re a relationship between your parents you possibly seen growing up. For others of you, this has to do with your finances. Some of y'all have been patiently waiting for something or some type of financial blessing to come through um, or some type of finalization on a close, pretty much a closing of something so that you can get your finances, so that you could actually start something new and go rebuild and set your foundations by yourself alone. You're the empress. Some of y'all, I definitely feel like it's the fucks. It's the worry around it that is preventing you from, your worry is only, it's only bringing you either, either a delay or it's bringing you anxiety around the damn delay. But when you stop giving a fuck and start living for the now versus worrying about the future, then spirit's going to start doing some things. Some of y'all been patiently waiting for something to be revealed and some of y'all is going to get a front row seat to someone's karma. This person could be a Libra. This person could be Pisces, Taurus. This person could be Aries. This person could be Leo. This person, yeah, somebody went and tried to start something new with someone else, but someone got there and realized I don't want to be with you at all. I don't this is not where I want to be. I should have left you fuckable and yeah, this is the outcome. Someone could have also been using someone for money. Okay? And this is the outcome. Karma's a bitch because what I'm seeing here, somebody just signed a deal with the devil. This person when they don't get what they want, they're pretty narcissistic. So what you what I'm gonna need Aquarius not to do is don't dun da 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 fuck no. Okay? Some of you guys are possibly going to be cutting off another air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and it has to do with this person being disloyal. This person, if this is a friend, some of y'all, this person is not meant to walk into your new beginning. Some of y'all have a new beginning with a Leo, but this person needs to, this person needs to be willing to invest in this situation as much as you're wanting to invest in it because you've already dealt with people in the past who have been a bit shifty. And I feel like you need to open up and let this person know what you will and will not allow in your life. If you're dealing with water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, if this is a new Pisces or a Cancer or a new Libra or a new Taurus or if this is someone who you have children with, I do see something, a situation being balanced, okay? Or a situation regaining its balance, I hear renewals, okay? But there needs to be clarity, boundaries set. And someone needs to ask the right questions around what it is or what a, what a person's intentions are, okay? Some of y'all have an earth sign, Capricorn, towards Virgo, that is trying to make an offer to you, but you stuck on the damn past and, and, and waiting on some shit that a person is really resisting, okay? I definitely feel like you have, yeah, some of y'all got a decision between two soulmates, one that is karmic and one that has the potential to be a life partner. Others of you, you have a soulmate that is a new partner that is a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, okay? Some of y'all could be finding out that you're pregnant by this person. Some of y'all may be in your head because you feel as if things are going too fast. Too fast to whom? Think about it, okay? Mocha love the kids. Congratulations to the engaged. Congratulations, but there's things and fears internally that you guys are afraid of letting go. Some of y'all are afraid to accept this new love because intuitively you know as soon as you do this old person is going to come back. But the lesson is about letting go and self-worth, okay? So let's see. If you are connecting with the earth sign, cancer, I mean, cancer, uh, Capricorn towards Virgo, some of y'all this earth sign could be juggling yourself in an air sign, okay? 
And for some of you all, someone is having a hard time. So yeah, some some of y'all, you're gonna find out that the reason why this person had even ghosted you in the first place due to the fact that they were having financial issues. They fell in love, they didn't expect to. They went to somebody who's possibly an older person. This could also be someone who you used to work with at an old place. I'm seeing. Oh, this is the tea, honey. And they, this is their karma for not keeping it real with another person, but going into there with the intent of money. And I definitely feel like some of y'all is going to find out the truth and cut this shit the fuck out. For some of y'all, it has to do with someone trying to be slick and reconnect with the baby mother or baby father. And now this person is stalking you or this person, some of y'all is going to get the phone call or someone randomly stalking your social media, sending you, I'm seeing pictures, someone Ooh, somebody took pictures of somebody. Like they got, they got evidence, evidence. Okay, spirit, what's your advice for Aquarius in love? Move forward, move for, move forward with the cancer. Some of y'all, okay. For some of y'all, this cancer has to cut off of uh, some type of uh, family dynamic as well. Well, this person could have people trying to come back and reconcile. Do not allow that to be a disturbance and do not allow that to shake your confidence. You, Who's a bad bitch? You are. You are. Okay. Hello. Y'all my booze. You are. Y'all already know. Okay. Ain't no competition. I'm Aquarius. The fuck? Some of you guys are moving away from a family dynamic. Some of y'all have had the mindset of I'm staying for my kids. But for some of you all. Spirit is saying, no, I'm giving you I'm giving you singlehood, independence, and financial freedom for your damn sanity, honey, because you can't go buy that off the shelf. And it's really getting shaken while you trying to hold on to a motherfucker who don't want to open up, who got issues with their mama who they refuse to heal, because I heard mother issues, okay? Others of you, there's a reconciliation occurring as soon as you let something go, possibly with the water sign, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Some of y'all getting ready to reconcile with the Capricorn because this person then let the then let the damn devil go, literally. Others of you, there's a reconciliation, possibly with someone who, who something couldn't get off the ground with. And some of y'all, there's a reconciliation trying to occur. Well, maybe this person could have been toxic in the past. They come up with the devil up, right? So this person can still be toxic, but you need to make a decision on do I choose the old fool, or do I choose the new new? Okay, because some of you guys are in this space of indecision due to some type of communication that is coming in during this time. And I feel like, but some of y'all, some of y'all just, yeah, some of y'all just could have to do with the um, Aries Leo Sag or Gemini Libra Aquarius, okay? For some of y'all, this person is coming in very passionately, okay? But I definitely feel like for some of y'all, this person is coming in passionately. For some of y'all, they're offering this you this page of cup shit. This person is wanting to communicate and open up the doors. For some of y'all, this person needs some financial help. For others of you, because this person could have recently had to give out some money possibly to an earth sign. Some of y'all, this person is offering just a little bit of love. You're going to find out because they're already attached to a situation where they could be married or they could have children with somebody. Okay? But others of you, you have a damn earth sign trying to come in. King of Pentacles trying to come in and give you this damn Ten of Cups and this King of Cups. And, and some of y'all need to cut off somebody who, again, have showed you who the hell they is, period, okay? I definitely feel like for those of you who are single, you will have people coming to approach you, options. This is going to test the work that you've actually, the investment that you've made into yourself as far as the things within the self that you've been working on. Some of y'all are going to get a new opportunity that requires you to travel for work and you holding on to your old way of doing shit from people and places and situations that have left you in this energy. Spirit is giving you a brand new shot, baby. A brand new shot because you're the empress to go recreate. Turn your transmute your pain into your power. Use it. You had to learn through your shadows. You know what they're saying? When you know better, you do better. Well, it's time to go do damn better, Aquarius. Okay? This is what I have for you guys in love. For the month of July, the end. Now it's the end of July. You guys, let me know how this resonates with you all. And um, I look forward to speaking with you guys in the month of August. I send you nothing but love, light, peace, blessings, as well as a bunch of healing. Because, y'all, this shit here's the tea. Don't go to jail. Don't go with the clink clink if you are already trying to balance your finances. That bill money, bill money ain't cheap. Take it from me. I know. All right? That's my shadow self. But I'm, I'm still working on it. You heard me talk about the month. Tell her my whole fucking business, okay? P.S. Tell his mama my motherfucking business. Period. Or if this is a male Aquarius, tell her my mama my motherfucking business. Or run me my rent, run me my check, run me the your portion of my bills. I'll wait, okay? Or not. <laughs> so you guys, you definitely need to stay your ground, y'all. Y'all hit me up if you need to read that information in the description, y'all. This is some shit here. 
Love you. Toodles. Y'all better make that damn decision.